SciNet, a cyber infrastructure for network science, is a web-based tool for analyzing networks. The system can be used for analyzing very large-scale complex networks and one important aspect of the system is that it is very user-friendly and it is designed for people who are not necessarily computer scientists. SciNet has been used for classroom teaching, for network science courses, for a digital library course, and for several research studies. I've used SciNet to teach network science courses twice at the University of Albany. Um, in my classes, students found SciNet an exceedingly easy tool to use and very convenient one. At least two of them are now doing research using SciNet. I heard about this workshop from my advisors and it was really great. Uh, I've been looking trying to do one study figuring out who are the most highly connected people county-wise in one state. Just trying to figure out which of the counties could be spreading information or disease the quickest and using some of these tools is going to make it so much quicker than just trying to manually script everything. Network science is the study of networks which seems simple but is, is fairly complex and pervasive. So it can range from studying simple statistics like the um, degree distribution or clustering coefficients to very complex measures such as um, the vulnerability of the network or which nodes are the most vulnerable and you have to protect such as for a telecommunications system. Initially, um, SciNet consisted of a graph library that was developed here at Virginia Tech, but it has subsequently evolved to include other libraries developed at other institutions. For example, the SNAP library developed at Stanford and uh, Network X library that was developed at Los Alamos, and future plans call for incorporating still more libraries. And so in this sense, the goal is to devise and develop a community resource where many tools are provided to the user and they can select from the tools that can best accomplish their given tasks.